Hey there, I wanted to uh, put together a quick video to show off a new feature in Microsoft Teams that I've been waiting for, honestly, for a couple of years and been hoping for. I just saw in a blog post today uh, that my friend Phil on Twitter let me know about early this morning that Microsoft announced down here a little bit further that now they are bringing out Elgato Stream Deck support. So if you have one of these Elgato Stream Decks that we're going to be talking about here in just a couple days on the live stream with myself and Andy Honeycutt, if you have an Elgato Stream Deck, you can now integrate that with Microsoft Teams and have single button access to some of these uh some of these experiences. So I wanted to really quickly install this, show you how to set it up. And then, um, you know, kind of as a teaser for what we're going to talk about in our deep dive here in a couple days on Friday, February 3rd. So let's check out how we can get this really quickly. First of all, we're going to go into Stream Deck, and this is available in the Elgato Stream Deck store. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this button right here at the top, the plus button. This takes me to the Stream Deck store where I can install plugins, I can get new icons, find background music and stuff like that. So we're gonna grab plugins and then up here in the top, we're just gonna search for Teams. And now we've got this brand new one provided by Microsoft. This is a first party Microsoft plugin that we can just click install. And you can see there's already 314 people have installed this. <clears throat> So we've got that installed, we can close the store, and now across the side, I have all of these Microsoft Teams buttons available. So I'm gonna add a new folder to my Stream Deck. We're gonna create a folder, and we're gonna call it Teams. And then inside the folder, let's just start loading it up with Microsoft Teams icons. So first, I can have a background blur, I can toggle my camera, I can use this to leave the meeting. I can mute my microphone. I can raise my hand. I can do applause. I can do laugh icon or reaction. The like, the love, the wow or the surprise face. And then I can also toggle recording. So I've kind of got these scattered throughout. And you'll see that they're just, they have like a little uh, lock icon on them, right? Cause so it's not configured yet. So what we've got to do is we've got to go over to the Teams client to connect this. So we're going to go over to Teams and I'm in the settings for Microsoft Teams. We're going to go to privacy right here. And we're going to click privacy and at the bottom there's this new third party API. Now I've noticed this has started rolling out. They say that it's going to roll out between now and the end of February but I've seen this in both of my tenants now. So if you don't see this yet, you might check for updates inside of Microsoft Teams, or you might go ahead and quit out of the entire Teams application, uh, fully quit and then open it back up and see if this option shows up for you. So we're gonna click Manage API, and then we're gonna turn on to enable this local client API. And that generates this API token, and don't, don't think that you're going to, you know, use my API token because I'm going to regenerate a new one after I'm done recording this. So we're going to select that. There's a little bit of a glitch, right, where it's kind of going over to the, the other line. But we're going to copy that token. And then back over here in Stream Deck, we're just going to paste that token in so that it connects to my Teams client. And you'll see all of the icons now they all show up as like little grayed out icons right here. So it was a little lock icon. Now it's showing what the thing actually does. So I'm gonna rearrange these a little bit to something that makes more sense to me. And I think I wanna put my microphone and my camera together, right? I like having the blur background kind of next to the camera. I think the leave button should be all the way in the top corner, kind of like it is within the uh, Teams client. And I want things to be away from it, right? Because I don't want to accidentally leave my meeting. So I'm going to keep things away. And I like the way the reactions are, are located kind of in order. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new meeting. And then I'm going to rearrange these icons and show you how they work. 
Okay, so I'm in a, a meeting right now with my Meet Now uh, just by myself. And if we go up here to reactions, this is something new that Microsoft has provided, which is the ability to raise your hand separately from the reactions. And I want to look in order. I'm going to put these in the same order that they are in the team's client. So we've got thumbs up, then a heart, then the applause, then the laugh, then the surprised face or the wow reaction. So we're going to just duplicate that here. So do you notice now, since I'm in a meeting, these buttons are actually lit up and they're active. So I've got raise hand, it's off by itself. We got thumbs up, heart, applause, laughing, and the wow face. And now if I press any of these buttons over here on my stream deck, you're going to see that they, they react the way that you would act, expect. And I also want to point out, if you look in the upper corner here, I do not, my, my team's client is not the one that's in focus, right? It's in the background. So let's try this out. So we're going to blur the background. So I've blurred my background and it is immediately fast as I toggle that on and off. Next, I'm going to turn on and off my camera. So I'm going to toggle my camera off and I'm going to turn it back on. I can quickly turn that on and off. I can also mute my microphone even when my client is not active, right? It's not in the foreground. I can mute and unmute myself. And you'll see right here that that is updated with the current status. So I can glance down, see that I'm on mute, press the button and it's active. I can start recording this meeting using the, the recording button right here. And so I'm pressing the next button, which is record. There we go. It's recording. It also turns red. So it tells me I'm actively recording this meeting. I'm going to turn that off and it's saving the recording now. And then let's, let's skip the leave button. Let's go through the reactions. So next we're going to raise my hand. So I click that. Now I'm yellow because my hand is raised. I'm going to lower my hand. I'm going to do a thumbs up icon. So there's my thumbs up. It's sending the reaction through. We've got a heart reaction. We've got applause. We've got the laughing and we've got the wow face or the shock, like surprise type of face. So thank you, Microsoft. Big applause to you and Elgato for finally providing this. I love that I will be able to see at a glance what my current status is and be able to uh, quickly do reactions because I love doing nonverbal reactions in meetings. I love doing a thumbs up, you know, hey, I agree with you or doing a heart. Now I can do that with the press of a button. I don't have to hunt for it in the application. So I'm going to leave you with that. There's a quick setup. Join us next in the next two days on Friday, February 3rd. Andy Honeycutt and I will be doing a deep dive on all things Stream Deck. So we both got these new Stream Deck pluses with the knobs on them, the dials. We're going to go through how to set that up. And we're going to cover the Microsoft Teams integration again so if you've got questions about this, you want us to explore specific things, check out that live stream here in two days. If you're watching this after February 3rd, um, thank you for watching. But uh, the replay for that live stream will be right here on my YouTube channel as well. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the meeting. I'm not even you know active in the, the window. You kind of hear everybody saying, okay, we'll see you later. You don't have to hunt for your team's window. You just click the hang up icon, and it leaves your meeting. It kills your meeting right there. So um, without further ado, I'll see you hopefully in a couple of days. And um, let us know what you think about this new feature. Thanks for watching.